What awaits in Jorvikshire? Halfdan Ragnarsson, conqueror of the north, sends his greeting. He wishes to meet with Eivor Wolfkist personally. Halfdan Jarl. I have heard that man's name so often. I feel as though I know him already. He is currently entangled in a war with the Picts of the Northern Hills. I suspect he wants your counsel, or your axe. If you are keen to meet him, he asks that you join him at his war camp. I have the location here. Now there's a face I've seen before. Faravit. We met in Jorvik, the Yuletide Feast. The Yuletide Massacre. I remember. What brings you here? Halfdan Jarl. He summoned me. Is he near? He was, but the Picts hit us hard. We were separated. Fresh attack from the hills. If we die today, tonight we drink with Odin. Either way, we claim victory! Life, old friend. Once again. Halfdan Regnason, we meet in the Forge of Battle. Surely a good sign. I don't know you. One of Faroid's new dogs? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor, yes. Down in Mercia. Kingmaker with my brothers Ivar and Uba and Finir in East Anglia. From the tales I hear, I feared you might be taller. That's not a fear you feel often, I imagine. So you answered my summons. <laughs> but the timing is poor, as you can see. Too many here are spent, battle sore. Thirsty. Faravid, have your men build field pyres for the dead. At once, my yard. Not here, not now. Then to Donna Caster for a victory feast! The oldest son of Ragnar Lothbrook, so he says. What do you make of him? What I think doesn't matter. I'm interested in what his men think of him. Is he honest, trustworthy, loyal? Is that why you've come here? To earn Hafton's trust? To find a seat at his table? I have my own table. What I want is a bond of friendship between the new lords of England. Among whom you count yourself, I suppose. It is an ally I seek, not a master. Well, there is but one lord of Northumbria. This war must end. That is my first concern. The time to strike is... is... when I say we strike. Halfdan's hammer protects this land. Tell my people that. King Rishia. As you wish, my lord. Who is this? Come closer. Haftan Regnason. My sword arm answers your call. Thank you for your tribute, Eivor Wolfkist. Your battles and deeds are well known to me. And you are the hero of Yorick. So sing my scalds. Not just any hero. Eivor brought order to the city when King Rishie could not. They say you rooted out a gang of thieves and traitors. Not alone. But I led the charge. You gifted my silver to the carls and chills of Jorvik. To men and women who needed it most. A foolish choice. 
The coin never left King Rishi's treasury. I try never to regret the decisions I make in a time of war. Agreed. To second-guess ourselves would only stall the victory. I don't regret sending Ferovid to lead our strike against the Picts. In spite of Eivor winning the day. Eivor and I felled them, Hafton Jarl, so you could sweep in, stab a few cold corpses, and claim a glorious victory. <laughs> Old friend, your jests hit like Odin's spear, always on the mark. I would not be here without your hammer, Great Yarl. Please accept this, your share of the loot we want today. A thing of beauty. Hmm. Frankish, I believe. What do you think, Eivor? A fine piece of work. Fit for the lips of a king. Or a man who makes kings. There's wisdom in this one, Faravid. By your leave, Lord, I must return to my forward camp. It's a long, cold ride. Two-faced, smirking glory hound. My lord. In your summons, you said... Shh. Not here. Not now. Dance, sing, and fill yourself with ale. Then meet me atop this tower of stone. There I will weave a tale of friendship and treachery. A tale as old as the world. Are you a nun? I thought nuns dressed like geese. Nothing of the sort. I am Moira of Weka. Hafton's herbalist. He is an ill man, and I do what I can to give succor and hope. I saw him fight. He was in fine health then. Thanks in part to my soothing tonics. Would you pardon me? All this. We conquered this, he and I, together. You've earned great fame, won many battles across England. But not alone, no, no. Bjorn Ironside, fearless Uber, Eva the Boneless, Sacred Snake and I, great warriors all, my brothers. Gold is good and battle better, but glory never dies. Forever lives in the Hall of Heroes, high on Valor's deed. Together we have conquered. Together with my friends, my clan. Faravid, above all others. One sword is not an army, Eivor. Even a hero needs loyal friends. I have never lost sight of that. Never. Have you room for one more among those you call friend? What does friendship mean to you, Eivor? Friendship goes beyond words. It is a solemn bond, a chain unbroken. Spoken like the Fowler, it is indeed a kind of magic. You wriggle like an eel in a basket, Hafton. What has caught you? Friendship can also spoil, like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Faravit, he seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet. That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if Faravid has been disloyal. Then we shall talk of oaths. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on.
You see this? From a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I've heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. You believe Faravid wants to poison you? I fear he has tried. Countless times. And failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy, his plots. Learn the truth. Dig up... <coughs> Unearth his treason. Why trust me with such a task? Jorvik, you stopped the ill deeds of Auden and his swarm of rats. You can do the same here. Like a good sword, Anna has two edges. I'll help you. Faravid has left the feast already, heading for his camp upriver. Join his warband, and behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing, if he's a good and loyal man. Even better. Even better. Fair enough. I will find what I find. Then return, my friend. Faravid! Ah, oh, Eivor, my friend. Is Donacaster hospitality to your liking? I would be careful calling this one friend, Faravid. The crow who comes flapping when Haftan gives a whistle. Haftan and I spoke, and what of it? This is our fight, our chance for glory. Fly on home, crow. Lend me a knife, Faravid. This whelp needs scalding. Over piss off. Small men always talk big. So, was Hafton generous? Did you get what you came for? If I help with your fight against the Picts, Hafton will consider me a friend. So point the way for it. The Picts raided that monastery, plundered its silver and gold. The Saxons built more churches and barns and filled them with hearths of monks. Yes, monasteries make tempting targets, and not just for us. We tracked Pictish raiders heading north. I know the place. My raiders sacked Elmet not long ago. Ma. Ah. And then they picked the bones left over from your feast. I'm ready to fight. Let's put them in the ground. Hofton didn't send you north to fight a skirmish we could win with half our numbers. Why are you here, Eivor? To help you battle the Picts, nothing more. He knows my reputation, and he knows what advantage I bring. You question my word. You never gave it. Then I give you my word, Faravid. I'm here to fight pigs. To arms, dogs! Let's roast some pigs! This cave is a passage. The pigs are using it to cross the mountain. A gift for us. You track them through the cave. We'll circle around back and snare any who try to slip away. The pig spoke of Stenweye, their camp. That's to the north. Their chief may be there. Did! Run! Stop them before they reach Stenweye! Their scouts are dead. The pigs won't know we're here. The hornets have led us to their nest. More than a chief up there. Looks like the forward camp of an army. But would the pigs dare attack in winter? Hafton thinks not, and the Picts may use that to their advantage. Let's find out. You're on the wrong side of the giant's wall, friend. Have you come to make war in winter? He might have talked! We got what we came for. Is that more Frankish wine? I'll take a few casks. And that silver there. Ofer, that's Hafton's share. Eivor, 
Just in time to divide the spoils. Take some meat if you like. The pigs are at Magnus. This map spells it out. Ah, the wolf kissed is a reader. That Stark Seder I'll never mess with. Worry about the pigs later. Now's the time for treasure and spoils. You earn it. It should be ours. We did the work. All of it. And nothing for half done. Warming his cock in a Saxon castle. Open that cask and we'll have a taste. We'll celebrate together. Sorry, friend, but that's Hafton's take. You understand. He won't notice one missing cask. So unless there's something wrong with it, let's have a taste. There's nothing wrong with it, friend. If you insist, we'll all drink some stinking wine. A little sour, but not bad. I've always preferred ale myself, or spiced mead. What I won't drink is one of Moira's herbal brews. She claims they're a tonic, but there's no telling what she hides in those drinks. Moira? I met her at the feast. She's a herbalist from the north, always skulking in the shadows of Hafton's throne. It's a big throne. Don't you all skulk around it from time to time? Why all these doubts, Eivor? You're a warrior, not a rumor monger. Doubt is too strong a word. But there is a feeling of mistrust among you. I want this alliance to be ironclad. Then let me change your mind. I've got a plan to win this war for good before the winter sets in. Magnus is a strong fort, but we'd be attacking from the south. With speed, we'll catch them off guard. With Hafton's blessing, I'd fight beside you anywhere. Name the time and place. No, Hafton is done fighting for the winter. He thinks it too great a risk. But I say we can win this war before the next snow. If we tell him of this plan, he'll refuse. But if we succeed, you and I together, he'll sing our praises all the louder. I'll fight with you, Faravit. But I will not lie to Hafton if he asks. If you tell him, he'll demand we forswear our attack. Are you willing to risk a victory like that? Our glory? If I tell him, he'll know what we intend. But we'll fight nonetheless, in spite of his anger. Fear is fear. I must return to Donacaster for a time. But I will join you for this battle. Deliver this goblet to my Jarl. He has a fondness for them, and tell him his share of the spoils is coming. When you're ready, find me near Jorvik at a place called the Walds. Drink the rest. Yes, yes. Thank you, Moira. That is all for now. The soothing herbs lift the fog from my mind for a time. How long has she been mixing these for you? You're stalling, Eivor. Tell me what you've learned, what news from the north. The pigs were beaten back. We took their lives and their treasures. Faravid asked me to deliver this. Is he taunting me? Faravid poisons the wine he gifts me. These goblets are a cruel joke. He is mocking me. We did capture some barrels of Frankish black. He said they were for you. But I made him open a cask. We drank together. There was no poison. Speak without guise, Eivor. 
Does he plot against me, or no? Does he keep secrets? Give me something I can use! Now you must choose between treason and madness. Between the serpent's fang and the bite of a rabbit wolf. Fedovit asked for my silence, but Hafton expects the truth. If I am not careful, these lies will pile up one upon the next. You have grown awfully silent, Wolfkist. Faravid has planned an attack on the pigs at Magnis. Without you. That twin-faced, backstabbing glory eater! When? Tell me. I won't know until we meet again at a place called the Waltz. Good. Go to him. Watch, listen, unearth his lies. You will find them. If you fear poison, Lord, you must consider everything, even Moira's brew. Impossible. Moira has been with me for an age. She is no witch, she is kind. Perhaps you can speak with her and find out for yourself. She stays within Donnecaster, not far from here. If you learn something, find me north of Donnecaster. One of my scouts there has troubling news. We'll be safe here. Thank you, Eivor. A thousand times, I thank you. And if I ask you to drink your own brew? I would, gladly. And often do from time to time, to ensure it's not overly bitter before serving to Hafton. When you said there's no cure for what ails Hafton, you mean he's touched in the head? I fear so. The same malady bedeviled my mother. The body breaks down and the mind falls apart over time. It's a terrible thing. I need your help, Moira. The brews you mix for Hafton, what goes into them? Oh, quite a diverse mixture. Let me see. Lavender, rosemary, meadow sweet, yarrow, soothing herbs, nothing uncommon. I should return to Hafton. He said he would be at the Temple of Flora. Tread lightly this topic with him, if you would tread it at all. Good to find you here. The raven feeder returns. Now keep quiet. I'm hunting a band of traitors lurking about this swamp. Who told you there were traitors here? My scalp. He asked me to join him here, but he is nowhere to be found. Have a look around. Tell me if you see something. I found your scout, but his wounds are grave. Olaf. Poor Olaf. He will be buried with honors. I will see to that. Walk the bridge, old friend. I will see you on the other side. Hey, Anton, may track his attackers. Get them, boy! The Romans were fine craftsmen. These chambers are vast and decorated and laced with piping. Yet they went mad and vanished, just like their gods. Moira's books tell us so. Ah, here, you see? Spoils of war. Mine! Stolen from me! Ah! I am beset on all sides, Eivor. ...by plotters and... ...schemers! What kings and jarls are not? Your territory is vast and wealthy. Every day decisions I make change the lives of thousands. It is a burden few could bear. Yet I do. I do. You spoke with Moira. What did you learn? She means well. I don't believe she would poison you. Not willingly. She also said she'd seen your illness before. In her own family, she said it came on slow, but was... incurable. No. No, this is not an illness. This is poison. Somehow someone is poisoning me! Shh! Listen! Wolf kissed and half done! Well met! Come! Fill your bellies with mead! You stole this tribute. 
By rights, this is mine. It was meant for me. You restore nothing. Faravid gifted this to us for a hard day's battle. And did you take my scout Olaf in that battle? Your brother in arms? Did he too have to die for this tribute? That was... that was Olaf? Damned fool! We thought he was a thief! The only thieves here are the ones drinking my mead and spit-shining my silver! You! Cowards and traitors! We are owed this bounty, Jarl! For battles won and blood let! Eivor, you tell him! They only took their rightful share. You are traitorous worms. But Eivor seems to think you deserve pity. So I will give it this once. Return my spoils to Donacasta, and I will wipe this day from my memory. I can't do that. It is our share. We fought for it, killed for it, bled for it. If we don't get the glory, we deserve our share. The barking will stop. They forced my hand. Take hold of your fear, Hafton. It can poison your mind. Faravid killed this man. Not me. He forced my hand with slights and trickery. He... I find it hot in these furs. The day must be warming. You have a meeting with Faravid. Is that not right? I do, at the walls. Yes, I know the place well. It is on the road between Jorvik and Picheringa. Press him, Eivor, as hard as you can. Never let up, and bring me proof of his treachery, or otherwise. Come, have a drink. You're a few horns deep already. <laughs> Yet still floating. Tell me, how did my old friend like his goblet gift? There were other things on his mind. Your man Ulfra, for instance. He died protecting the spoils he stole from Hafton. Ulfra. Poor Ulfra. I told him to mind your tongue, but he wags it like a slobbering dog. Was Hafton always so easily riled? No. Riches and glory have shaped him into something new. He's not the same man he used to be. What is this place? I expected an army ready for Warcraft. This was our first camp in Northumbria. I came here with Hafton and his brothers, Uba and Ivar. We besieged Jorvik and put King Alla in the cold ground. Those were good days, now too far gone. What is all this? My share of the treasure we took from those distant days. I buried it here for a rainy day. This bag is heavy with silver. Enough to pay for an army. Come! Race me to Jorvik, Eivor. Remind me of the glories long gone. You're too drunk to win a race. Then have a drink. Make it fair. Having trouble keeping up? My horse must be deeper in the cups than I am. What are we doing in Jorvik? You haven't said. Paying a visit to our kept King Rishie. Long may he reign. I haven't enough men to beat the Picts alone. But with Rishie and his feared, we'll finish them off. Wait. A favor I must ask of you. Make no mention that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Rishie answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. Rishie cannot defy orders he has never heard, no? Trust me, I will take the blame should our plan fall apart.
Eivor the wolf kissed and Halfdan's cupbearer? What a curious surprise. I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scrape by, with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again. Until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, King. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done, but today I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am confused. Yes, you answer to Hafton. And now, he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. To make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I have given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half done in writing, yes? From the great man himself? Not with us, but you can rest assured Hafton has need of you. He expects a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid, but duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from Hafton, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me! I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants. Hearsay is not enough. For all I know, this is another of Hafton's tests. The greatest snake in Northumbria, that Saxon is. But we need his army to take Magnus. And we'll have it. If we falsify orders from Hafton ourselves... You would do this? Draw up fake orders and pass them off as real? That's it, and I know just who to speak with. Hjor of Jorvik. He'll know what we need. Good. Hjor's favorite alehouse is nearby. Seek him there. Eivor. Always the fighter. Thank you, Wolfkist. Those men will wake up soon enough. With greater sense, I hope. What brings you back to Jorvik? Secret errands for Hafton. I need an army of men to face the Picts in the north. Has Hafton planned an attack he cannot afford? That's not like him. To be clear, Faravid made this plan, not Hafton. Does Hafton know of this plan, or...? He doesn't, but he's given me leave to act as I must. ...for reasons I cannot share. Yes, we've heard the rumors... ...and all our messages have gone unanswered. Can you aid me with some trickery? Help me forge a set of orders from Hafton himself... ...to force Rishia's cooperation. You'll be taking quite a risk. You'll have my thanks. We can meet outside the Royal Hall... ...after you have the documents. Here, take this forgery... ...and pray that King Rishia sees nothing amiss. I trust you know what you're doing. Straight from Hafton's hand, as you see. Hmm. Yes, yes. Well, if Hafton's loyal mules have pledged to fight, still. My help will come at a price. If you're speaking of coin... I remind you that your soldiers are mine. Hafton's, my good man. Hafton's soldiers, for these are Hafton's orders. Correct? But I jest. I jest. All is in order, then. If Hafton commands, I shall raise my feared. And you shall have your fighting army. Good. Get them marching at once. This must happen soon. As soon as they are mustered, Lord Faravid, and no sooner. Eivor, a moment with you? I'll meet you at Stenweir. Faravid is Hafton's man. So are the Hemmings of Nottinghamshire, as are we here in Jorvik. But not you. 
I don't like talk that dances around thorns. <laughs> For whom are you fighting, truly? I fight for myself and my people. As any great leader must. Why ask me of loyalty? What are you seeking? An innocuous question. Loyalty is a word that slides off the lips like honey. Sweet to the taste, but never lingering. There are things simmering in Northumbria, hidden from even you. Take heed and have a care. Where are the Saxons? We need them to take the fortress. Patience. Rishi promised an army. What about Jor and Jovina? Lovina is ahead with a dozen of Yorick's swords. Come. Our Saxon allies have reached Magnus. We should march. Battlefield once more, old friend. Yes, my Earl. As in days of old. Who are you to speak of the old days? The days when my word was bond. The days when the light of my glory lit the world. How dare you speak of those days as if they meant anything to a traitor like you? Who told you of this? My new ally is more loyal than my old friend. Eivor Two-Faced. That is your name. Gently, friend. I told Hafton because it was my duty. Enough bickering, all of you. We are at the edge of war. Preserve your rage for the enemy. Lufina talks sense. We fight this battle and we end this war. At this moment, nothing else matters. Look there. The pigs send a message. Raven Tamer, with me. You will talk them into a surrender with your sword sharp tongue. tail and run back beyond the wall the romans built that wall to keep us out but they are gone and we remain someday you too will disappear wall or no wall we have more gods than you we may have but one god he did but we have many more friends who now is the rightful king of northumbria <laughs> The kingdom has spoken! For Thor! For Ragnar! For Hafton! Ah, oh, the sweet taste of victory! Rishia defeated. Was he the thorn at my back? The traitor I suspected all this time? Save your praise, Hafton. Rishia may yet live. That coward will be dead in a snowdrift somewhere. It matters not. This day is not done until we've seen his corpse. Do not relent. Not yet. Eivor, rise like an eagle or call like a crow. A 
faithful counselor. Please help me back to Jorvik. Let my heart expire at home. I have no favors left to offer you, Rishir. Soon you will walk beside your god. But I... I see no light. I feel no warmth. Only... an icy darkness. A, a cave. Hell's frozen door welcoming you. What, what waits for me there, Eivor? What waits for me? A traitor's death for a treasonous fool. He was the hero in tales he told himself. The Saxon who loved his homeland. You cannot begrudge him that. There is something in that. No more Saxon kings, Eivor. I am through playing the puppeteer. The fate of this Shire rests on my shoulders alone. You'll take the crown yourself, and the extra burden it brings. I will. But I will not rule alone. My friends, and my allies, will keep me standing upright. Let us talk of our alliance in Jorvik. Leave this king to his winter kingdom. the Raven Clan of Mercia, our newest ally in blood and glory! Yeah! To Hafton King, I lift my horn and raise my brow to speak this praise. Crown Spire, Stout Oak of Valkyries, Spinner of Battle Wisdom, long may you live and rule! Skull! Skull! <laughs> <laughs> Moira, what is this metal? It's soft like Roman pipes. Ah, oh, that's lead. A toxic metal. And was it lead that drove the Romans mad? Can metal do this to a man? Oh, God in heaven, yes. The Romans knew this well. And my poor mother, she... She drank from cups like these for so long. She... You... All these years you gifted me poison! <laughs> you gifted me madness! Old friend, please. Your sickness has clouded your judgment. This sickness was no accident. I trusted you. She's your weapon, it. Eivor, make this man see sense. He's old, sick, and his mind is unclear. Oh, shit! You want me dead, you lying shit hog? I was a fool to not see it! Treason must never go unpunished. After all we did together? After all we won? If any of my clan committed such a betrayal, I would rip his flesh from his bones. The end of our road. Stand, you treasonous bastard! Stand and fight me! Old friend. Do you remember the days we raced our horses across the length of this land? You were always faster. You always won. Because I let you win, my Arno. So I will let you win one last time. We will meet once more in the Corpse Hall.
Afton, it's time I go. Hmm? I am leaving for Mercia, going home. And go with this. A sign of friendship. A bond between our clans, a symbol of the pain and suffering it took to win the peace. I hope we were right about him. Ranvi, what is this? Another dispute, I'm afraid. With Holger stirring the pot once again. Will you set in judgment? Judgments are the burden of a Jarl. This is Sigurd's duty now. He refuses to leave his quarters. Right now, you are the only noble fit for this. I don't know. It is not my place. Please. Only until Sigurd recovers his strength. All right. Once more. Gudrun. Holger. Come forward. You'll state your cases, and I'll hear you out and be as swift in my judgment as I am able. Gudrun, you may speak. I have been robbed, Abel. My property defaced. Three days ago, I discovered some of my sailcloth missing. I scoured the settlement in search of it. Passing Holger's home, there I see it. Boldly displayed and worse. Defaced, the scrawls and silly stories upon it. Lies and slander! Holger, quiet. You're well acquainted with the rules of this trial. Now, Guthrun, what did you do upon discovering your sailcloth? I confronted him, demanding silver. For sail with Holger's inky scratching cannot be sold or bartered, can it? I ask only that I be paid for the property that was taken from me, yet he refuses. So Holger took something that belonged to you and defaced it. Now you wish to be paid for the item. Do I understand? That is right. Holger, what say you in your defense? Short days ago, I found a pile of mildew-stained detritus beneath the docks and salvaged what I could. I wish to use it as a canvas, you see? As a conveyance for my latest works. The sailcloth was in such a state and so obscured from view. I assumed it was refuse, abandoned goods. I see. My motives were honest, Eivor. Would a thief be so brazen as to display the fruits of his crime? Hardly. Yet here she claims I have robbed and defaced her property, when all I took was rubbish left by to rot. <sighs> Nonsense. My only crime here is that I gave something ugly and decrepit a bold new life. I see, so you feel Guthrun disposed of something, and now unreasonably seeks its return. Exactly, yes. All right, I have heard enough. I might have profited from that cloth. Hawk has all but robbed me of a future boon. It was garbage. Yet now it's a part of something greater. If anything, I have increased its value. You ought to thank me. Oh, I will thank you with the back of my... Quiet. Let me speak. After careful thought, it is clear that... What is this? What are you doing? Holger and Guthrun are at odds. I hope to find a resolution. That duty is mine alone, Eivor. You know this. Stand aside. You are not here, brother. Nor did I wish to bother you. A sallow excuse for such a bold defiance. I hope you enjoyed it. Are you finished singing, my dear scout? 
My Yarl, as I was saying, Stop! I Stop! Enough! I have heard more than enough to render my judgment. For as long as I've known you, Holge, you have spun words into lies. You weaken the minds of children, and delude the minds of men. I've shown you too many years of tolerance. And rather than exist in grateful meekness as Holge the liar, you sink lower. You become Holge the thief, robbing a woman of her livelihood, all in the name of your stupid stories. Sigurd, you all know that that is not the... This is the consequence of your actions. You will pay Gudrun the value of 30 Selkhoths. 30 times? Surely your chest? That would ruin me, Sigurd. Do I look like one to pay Prax, Holgate? Pay the fee, or be exiled? Great, Jarl, if I may. I seek only compensation for a single sailcloth. The rest is- Thirty times! In silver! That is my judgment. Eivor, please! Does this not seem unfair? Sigurd is our Jarl. His word is law, whether or not you agree. You see? Of course, my all. As it must be. Forgive my defiance. Thank you, Lord, for hearing us out. See to it that judgment is carried out exactly as I have said. Should the need arise again, do not fail to rouse me. <laughs> I want to thank you for your judgment, Eivor. For stepping in when Sigurd would not, in spite of what happened. Poor man. I've never known him to be so angry and reckless. Is that a sight you have seen? Rarely. There have been moments when he was distressed, worried, afraid. But nothing like this. Never, ever like this. Let us do our best for him as we take care of our own. We are his best hope for healing. If it is not too late. In the meantime, we press on. I entered Jorvikshire to meet Halfdan Jarl, and I left a friend of Halfdan the King. We have an oath, at last. Good. Very good. <laughs>